good morning. Thank you for coming back to my channel and welcome to London. So today is my first shift volunteering at the IAAF World Championships for the Athletics. I'm going to be keeping a bit of a video blog throughout the shifts that I'm going to be doing. I'm not going to publish this until after the championships are over. The role that I'm doing carries uh, security risks um, if I reveal what I'm doing and where. So I'm not going to do that until it's all, all done and dusted. But then once that's happened, all this can be shared with you. Hopefully you'll be happy to come along on this journey with me and see what it's like to be a volunteer at a major sporting event. I hope this inspires other people to volunteer as well at a sporting event that comes near you in your country. Let's go for it. Well my first day has been a little slow in the morning because there's no competition yet. It's only the 2nd of August at the moment. We're obviously practicing some fireworks for opening night there. How awesome. I've just had to walk a couple of the Bahamas athletes from the hotel to the tube and then get them from the tube to the stadium because they missed the athlete bus. The next bus was only going to be an hour, but they needed to get there quicker than that. So I've sorted them out. I'm now heading back to my hotel. And the other things I've done this morning is mainly just kind of taking deliveries of bottles of water and stocking that up and helping athletes get their accreditations when they arrive and getting them all settled in. It's been a fairly slow day. We'll see what happens tomorrow and hopefully there'll be uh, a lot more going on and it'll be a bit busier. Keep me busy and keep me gainfully employed. Well today's been an exciting day as well. I've actually been uh, quite busy. I've ferried a couple of athletes across to the Olympic Park again from my hotel. There's been lots of to do at the hotel and then tonight it's the technical and medical meetings. I've brought the officials and managers from Team Bahamas over to the Excel. Whilst I'm here they've got me handing out leaflets and keeping me busy whilst I'm here. And then when the meeting's done I'll take them back. We are ready to start. Good evening everyone. Welcome to the technical meeting of the IF World Championships London 2017. My name is Paul Hardy, I'm the Competitions and Events Director of the IAAF. I'm going to say a few words and then pass it over to, uh, to my colleagues to lead you through the rest of it. Right, it's the third day of my volunteering. It's the first day of competition and this is the athlete warm-up area. And pretty soon it's going to be the 100 metres and tonight Mo Farah runs in a 10,000 metre final. And I'm hoping I'll be in the stadium for that. We've got members of public just up here, all uh, peering over into the athlete preparation area. They're all trying to get a look at the athletes. There's a little bit of Team Bahamas that I'm looking after. They're all just chilling out. We've got one athlete sprinting tonight in the 100 meters. Go on, Warren. Go on, get on there. There you go. go. Yes. CJ Ujas in lane two going for Great Britain. Boom, go on CJ. Usain Bolt right there. What did he get? Good? Warren. Right. 
15 laps to go. So it's Saturday the 5th of August and I'm having a day off volunteering today. Um, I've actually got to go and do my job. Rubbish. This morning I am just at Wadston Manor before I go there for a late shift. <laughs> Justin Gatlin right behind me there, and I'm leading him to a bus. OMG. Just sat on a bus with that man about five minutes ago. Mental. Ladies and gentlemen, the national anthem of the United States of America. Guys, everyone needs to go and sit down. Oh, <laughs> 
He can't believe it, he's on the floor, he can't believe it, can he? Awesome performance! I'm just walking away from the stadium after watching some more athletics. Today was quite a good shift actually. I was working like a... way fireworks! I was working a late shift. Um, I ended up getting in about 12 today. There was quite a few bits to do, taking the team around, so they wanted to go to a bookstore, look for things like that, and we never found a bookstore, unfortunately, but I tried my best. Um, and then we ended up coming over to the stadium tonight. Stephen Gardner, he was running the 400, and he smashed it. He's done a new area record for the Bahamas, so he's well happy with that, I bet. But actually got across here on a bus with Justin Gatlin, uh, who was on his way to his medal ceremony, and we literally got him here with five minutes to spare. The London traffic almost screwed that up but we did get him here, so it's all been a good day. I managed to watch a lot of the marathon earlier, which was really good.